All right, leaving work. It's an interesting day. I'm trying the trying to put myself into ketosis. I want to lose some weight for this marathon. Basically, in a last ditch effort to spare any additional weight on my knees and ankles, because I've got a sore ankle from the running. It's a cold night tonight. I'm gonna skip the running club. It's 40 degrees and raining. No thanks. I'll uh, rest up tonight. Um, and I feel like I'm almost in a hallucinogenic state. This is going almost my coming into 48 hours of not eating anything. So I'm, my brain is really out there right now. It feels like it's off in some other place. I don't feel connected to myself physically. And I think this is why spiritual teachings, religious teachings always mention fasting and how it gets you in touch with God because <laughs> basically my mind isn't here right now. I'm almost in a hallucinogenic state. If I can sit and think about something, basically my vision turns off in the physical plane and I can see the thought that I'm focusing on much clearer than I would be if I had eaten something. So it's interesting. It's kind of a psychedelic effect. And I just feel dizzy and I'm out of it, but it's definitely ketosis. My breath is smelling. No, my breath is smelling. My, my breath smells. Just waiting for this UPS guy to cut me off. Um, and I, I had to brush my teeth a couple times today at the office just because my breath smells bad. And that's one of the signs you're in it. One of the uh, many signs. But, okay. What else did I want to say? Yeah, it's today. It's an interesting day. I signed my ownership statement in the company, so I'm officially part owner of the firm where I'm working, which is nice, scary, exciting, depressing. I don't know how you want to look at it. It's locking me in for the long term. So I'm going to make the most of it, fight my way through it, and try to make this company work. So. I just don't want to be handed a raw deal or I'm going to end up being screwed. I'm going to have to end up paying my owner, paying the owner um, a note agreement on a repayment schedule for ownership shares. I think he wants me to buy another 20% before he leaves. But we'll see where everybody else is at. See what the other shareholders agree to. So that's going to happen probably next week. Got a lot of stuff going on. Another thing on my mind was I've been really busy doing these sketches, which is fun. I'm going to make a Dances with Wolves or Independence Day poster tonight. I've been sketching a lot of my old favorite movies. It keeps me busy. It's a cheap form of entertainment, and it's increasing my sketching skills, so I like that. I was also thinking, too, leaving... I listen to a lot of these MGTOW videos and channels online, and there's... It makes sense. No. We've discovered what women are up to, and we need to talk about it finally openly. And now there's a means of doing that through the internet. But I feel like a lot of these MGTOW stations are... They're just trying to push their books or their products. It's like, yes, we understand the message. Um, they're out... They're hypergamous, blah, blah, blah. We've all heard it. Women are sluts, basically. They're just looking to have sex with the next best guy. They're not there to commit to you. We get it. And then I realized, like, why, why do I even... Why do I even need to participate in this community or this thought process? Like, I'm on my own anyway. I'm going my own way. I'm doing my own thing. I don't need to fall into the, the mold of what this community thinks I should be doing as a man. You know, I'm a divorced man. I have a lot of relationship experience, shitty relationship experience. You know, I've tried dating in the last year. I tried to start up a couple of relationships, seeing that those go nowhere also. It just seems kind of futile. And it's funny. It's hilarious that... Um, put this much effort into women trying to find somebody you can connect with when we are financially not I think that's the big factor that they don't discuss we're financially not able to get 
to a position where we can support another person. That's the big factor in it that none of them address. Look at our current salaries. They haven't gone up since, you know, the, the 60s, I think, and then the uh, cost of living is shot up too so like that it puts the screws to everybody nobody can be in a position of wealth and pr provision to help support and raise a family tell me any of your friends or family members who are in a prosperous position in their career or if in if they're married and they have kids where they're at right now are they doing well are they living paycheck to paycheck like most americans so, I guess what I'm trying to say is don't beat yourself up. You're in whatever situation you're in. You don't have to fall into somebody else's understanding of the world or fall into their mold of what they think reality is because nobody knows. We should be cautious. Yes, we've learned, a lot of men have learned these lessons. But you need to live your life how you need to live it. And if that's with somebody pursuing a woman, there's lots of benefits to that, to having somebody in your life, but a lot of risk with it too. So, so you got to answer that question for yourself. What are you willing to put up with? It doesn't make you any better or worse of a person, just your situation, your upbringing. Don't be fucking stupid. With the knowledge we have now, it'd be reckless to get married. I agree with that. I'm never getting married again. I told my boss that today as I was signing the papers. You know, I'm going through a divorce right now. I, you know, I wrapped up my divorce last year. I'm struggling to pay off these credit cards that I incurred a bill on, paying off her mortgage under the threat of alimony. So a year from now, I should be doing much better financially and I should be in a position to buy a higher percentage of ownership. All right, well, stay stay focused, keep, keep expanding your life, and um, that's really what it's about, trying to find the bigger picture in things, the spirituality. Don't get materialistic. This shit's all going to be taken from us anyway, so just try to understand reality and who you are. That's what it's about. It's a spiritual journey.